and welcome to my channel. This reading is for those of you that have strongly Taurus in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for February 2020. Okay, let's see, Taurus. Doris, you feel that there is going to be a big change in your life. I feel that for a lot of you, you were waiting for someone to finally make a decision to commit to you. This is coming in, okay? Yes. It's the end of being single. <laughs> Taurus. Two more shuffles for Taurus, please. That's your energy, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so we're ready. Yes, we are. Let's see. Taurus. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. We have someone here. Not just anyone. We have the emperor. He knows, okay? He knows that he was not fair. He knows that you were giving more than he was. But he acknowledges this, okay? I'm getting that a lot of you have shown a lot of patience with this emperor. Maybe this person was, um, yes, maybe this person was married or was in a committed relationship. But you showed so much compassion, like, as I said earlier, so, so much patience. Um, you're going to be rewarded. You are. Okay, first card for you is the moon. The Ten of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. You see, a lot of you were in the dark, okay, about what is it's yes, what is going to happen next. Like you were you were not aware of, you did not have a discussion regarding this this matter, okay? Because I'm getting that even though things were going very slow, you were in the dark about this relationship. The lovers, <laughs> the lovers. There was times when you thought that you are going to break down, that you are going to, to end this, but still you showed a lot of strength, okay? The star. The magician. The queen of cups. Cancer. Pisces Scorpio energy and the Ace of Swords. Well, the truth is that this person really loves you. This person adores you, okay? But they were not ready and you knew that. You knew it. That's why you showed so much compassion. And it was not easy, Torres, I'm getting here. It was not easy. It was hard to stay in this position of waiting and not even knowing if this is going to lead where you want. Wow. Mm. I'm picking up on a, a, a lot of determination. And even though there were times that it was very hard for you, you successfully have manifested a, a commitment here, Taurus. I want to clarify the lovers. Taurus, please.
again i'm getting the same message here the empress on the bottom of the deck as i said earlier you were in the dark about this this emperor of yours was strategically planning i feel that this emperor could be someone from far away okay so long distance relationship maybe you were not really like interacting lately or maybe you felt that this person has pulled their energy well i feel that they, this person did pull their energy taurus because they were they were really like strategizing how is this going to work and maybe you thought that they, that they don't care anymore maybe you thought that they were they, they were start like they started seeing someone else like you felt that things were not really going towards your towards your towards your benefit you're going to be surprised here because this person has planned has planned a, a reconnection a, a reconciliation but he will come not empty-handed see Yeah, I, I feel that for a lot of you, you feel that this is over. You feel that this is over, but it's not. It's not. As I said earlier, this person pulled their energy back so they could relax their mind, their thoughts, their, their heart, so they can like connect, so everything could be connected, so that they would make the right decision for themselves okay this person is madly in love with you obsessed with you this person wants a new beginning with you But again, I'm getting that you were resisting this. Like you were, like you had, a, there was a lack of trust. I don't know if something's happened or he said something or he did something, he or she. And you lost uh, your trust here. You lost your trust and you pulled your energy back. Maybe you all, you, maybe you told this person that you don't want to deal with them anymore, but You did set you you did you did set boundaries, okay. And as soon as you set, as soon as you set those boundaries, suddenly you became very 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 sexy to this individual. This person wants you. Like seriously, like look at this. But after you pulled your energy back or you did set boundaries, that's when, yes, that's when this person smelled the roses. This person is obsessing over you, Torres, or you are, depends. Whatever I say can go the other way around. They want to communicate with you. Maybe you blocked them or they blocked you. That's why, because I'm, I'm getting a lot of obsession here. Like I'm, I'm feeling someone trying, contacting you and really like getting very frustrated and angry and jealous. Like um, this person has lost it in a way. They, this person has lost their balance because of their uh, feelings with the Ace of Cups here. It's like they, they are trying to find you to tell you the good news that they want to be back with you or they want a new start with you, but they cannot find you. And I, for a lot of you, you don't want this person to find you. For others of you, you're just playing it hard to get. And others of you, yes, others of you are going to be very surprised 
that, that this is going to take place. You're going to be like, what? I thought this was over. I thought you did not have feelings with me, for me. I thought that you were with someone else. Maybe this person was with someone else at one point. But you already knew that. It's not, that was not a secret. So don't uh, freak out, okay? I want to clarify the Ace of Swords for Taurus, please. The Ace of Swords for Taurus. What is the truth here for Taurus, please? Why is this Ace of Swords here for Taurus? Yes, this person wants an equal, a balance, equal, give and take. Okay, we have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries here. This is very fiery energy. This person is ready to give, ready to open up and give. Mm -hmm. But they cannot, as I, again, I'm hearing they will not come with an empty hand. And they, they will, yes. And a truth is going to be revealed from this person coming towards your way. I feel the truth is that they have strong feelings for you and that they want to commit. And you were not aware of that. You were like, nah. Let's see, what is the truth? What is this truth? What does King of Wands has to say here? Yeah. You are this person's world. Cancer by Scorpio also here. But this is someone that is in love. Someone that is in love and it's going to take action. Speak their truth. What does this person want? What does this person want from Taurus? What does this person want from Taurus? They 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 want you to to trust them again, to be open again. Because they see you as their future. They want you to understand that they truly, truly want this with you. They, they, this person sees you in their future. But as I said, you, you have blocked your energy. And this person wants you to reopen, reopen, reopen Empress. Okay? Okay. Of course, you have every right you have every right to do this because uh, you had to. You were guided to do this. You were guided to pull your energy back. You were guided even to block or I am. But now this, this, this energy, this masculine wants you to, to, to release yourself from the bondage of, of you know, this bondage of, of oh, come on, lack of trust. This is what I'm getting. And a lot of you feminines do feel this, that this is coming. It's like this bird. See this bird here? Like this bird is telling her, he's coming, he's coming. Get prepared. If he, if your emperor was about to come towards your way, you don't need this because you're going to block it. This is also self-sabotage. So you have to release this energy. Okay? This is why the birdie is, 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 um, the birdie, <laughs> the birdie, sorry, <laughs> the birdie is, is telling you this, <laughs> sorry, Taurus, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> so, okay, the birdie is telling you that your emperor is coming, so get, pre get prepared, okay, get prepared, open your heart. Release the past, okay? Don't, don't, don't hold on to, to baggage. Release this baggage. You don't need it, okay? Your emperor is on his way. Uh, very good news, Taurus. Let's clarify the star. The star. <laughs> the birdie. I'll never forget that. <laughs> okay. The star card. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, what I'm getting here, it, it was written in the stars for the two of you to separate. For a new beginning. Because you were in a cycle 
you were in a pattern that was not changing. You were not willing to change this pattern. The other person was not willing to change the pattern. Maybe you tried in the past, but it did not work because you were so used to that pattern that it went back to how it was. But this time, this time, no. This time, the, yeah, judgment. Okay? This time, the cycle is really over and you thought things were over because of the distance but no you're going to be surprised Taurus four of wands <laughs> what did I tell you you're going to be surprised this person wants to be with you they want to come in a relationship with you page of pentacles they're coming towards your way after a separation they want a new beginning okay the emperor oh my god I love this for you See, the emperor wants a new beginning after the five of swords, after the separation, after whatever took place that ended things or paused or whatever. Hmm? Okay, very good news, Taurus. So, let's see what advice will come through from spirit for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for February 2020. What is the advice from Spirit, please? Yes. Why is this like It's weird. I know what I'm doing. Don't start yelling, ah, oh, she took the bad. I know what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> that, that was my card. Mm, that was my energy. So, we want Taurus's energy. Yes, synchronicity. The birdie. <laughs> Sorry, Taurus, the birdie. I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious. Is there a birdie here or not? <laughs> no, okay. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. And I'm not joking now. The bird that we saw there is a sign. The bird, birds bring messages, okay? So you intuitively already know that your emperor is coming towards your way, okay? So again, okay, open your heart. Let go of the past, of past disappointments. Let go of the, of, the, of, the, of the burdens that you were carrying. That you have to do some kind of preparation, okay? In order for your emperor to come and you in union with you, okay? So now let's see what message will come through from the spirit animal oracle. Spirit animal oracle. Okay, for Taurus, please, yes. Protector, I like this. Protector. I, I, I'm also getting that this relationship was protected. That's why the separation occurred. It, it had to happen, okay? You were protected <coughs> when that happened. You are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. Very beautiful, Taurus. Very beautiful. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Your intuition has already, like, is on point. I, I, did I tell you that in the beginning? Because I really feel it. That's why you get the synchronicities. So open your eyes, open your mind so you can see them. I don't feel that you're going to miss the signs. I don't think so. No. No. Okay. And don't forget the birdie. Don't forget the birdie. The birdie told you your emperor is coming. Okay, Taurus? This is what I got for you. If this reading did not resonate, you can also watch your moon, your rising, your Venus, and your Jupiter. Bye. Bye-bye.